nothing like being in a tatami room. I don't know why, but something about it makes me feel right at home. <laughs> if you say so. Huh? Hey, Ichan. Yeah? Whose earring is this? Uh, what earring? This earring that doesn't belong to me, which means somebody else slept here. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, who was it? Uh... Where the hell did this come from? I've never seen it in my life. But if I just deny it, she might think I'm lying. And then she'd kick my ass. Well, you let another woman up here? Then the boat that you fooled around and that's how it fell off? Boy, I'm in deep shit. How do I get myself out? No, oh, it's your present. I wanted to surprise you, Sachan. Surprise! <laughs> oh, this was for me? Ichan. Am I off the hook now? What kind of fool do you take me for? I mean, really. What idiot leaves a single earring lying around on a futon and calls that a present? Oh, you're right. Whoa, is everything okay? Did something happen? Yeah, I found an earring in Ichiban's futon. Would you ladies know anything about this? What? Pays good, guaranteed weekends off, and no overtime. <sighs> I think Kasuga-san's gonna love this job. This reference guide should be easy enough for Kasuga-san to understand. We'll head over to the private study room, get nice and cozy, and... <laughs> this brand new bowgun has maximum firepower and incredible range. I call it the Sumire Special. Hope you like it, Kasuga-san. Oh, you're Miyagoshi-san from Oanabara, right? And Sumire-san, is the workshop closed today? <laughs> Can't believe we're all here at once. <laughs> yeah, what a coincidence. I'm supposed to be meeting a guy. Huh, same here. You know, that's so funny. I'm actually meeting Kasuga-san. Okay, okay. Why don't we just talk this out? Yeah, you definitely have some talking to do. What is wrong with you, Chief? I think we should step outside for a bit. <laughs> Kasuga-san? What's going on? Well... What? You really found an earring in his futon? Is that true? Must be nice, romping around without a care in the world. No, wait. I can explain this. You amaze me, Kasuga-san. You're even a top-ranking cheater, too. How about I give you a certificate carved directly into your skull? Hope you're not squeamish around blood. I've been dying to test this deadly new bowgun I made. And I think I've found just the right target. I have a job lined up for you if you're still interested. You'll be scrubbing dirty assholes in hell, so dress light. It was nice chatting with you, Kasuga-san. Too bad you'll never hear from me again. Or anyone. I have this little fantasy about stripping you. Of your position, that is. <laughs> now go pack your shit, President Kasuga. Does the accused have any last words? Not that they'll help. Now hold on. This was all a misunderstanding. Everyone calm down. We will not. For woman's greatest enemy, there, there is, is only death! death. I... 
thought I was dead. This one's on the house. I can tell when a man's seen hell. Yeah? Long ago, I got attacked by an armed helicopter. They got me so bad, the doctor said I didn't have a chance. But somehow I made it back from the brink. And that taught me how resilient us humans can be. And how precious life is. That's why I named this bar what I did. To never forget that lesson. We've all survived something. So we should live strong. <sighs> anyway. What happened? Okay, so an earring got found in the room upstairs. And somehow that made me woman's greatest enemy. What earring are you... Oh. That. You know something about this? Uh, well, that just reminded me. I received some earrings from a gift exchange party last Christmas. And of course, I had no use for them, so I left them lying around somewhere. Uh, probably upstairs. So, what you're saying is... I'm just saying, uh, I think I may have been the cause of your little drama. <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me! Sorry again about the earring. I called up the ladies involved and let them know it wasn't your fault. Should clear up any misunderstandings they had. Oh, sweet! You totally saved my life, man. Sorry, Ichiban. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. Yes, it's my fault too. I never would have pinned that on our bartender. Ah, oh, forget about it. It's all in the past now. Hey, Kasuga-san. Isn't it still true that you're seeing another woman? Okay then, glad we got that one squared away. Now let's get a move on. Life's too short to sit around suspecting people. What the heck is he talking about? Beats me. 